Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone. I hope you're having a very good day. I hope the audio is working. Um, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to play some Animal Crossing. This is my first live stream and I've never done it before. So we'll see how this goes. I might do it for half an hour to an hour, but we'll see what is going down in the game, I guess. So let's try it out. <laughs> so I hope everyone... Okay. Sorry, my laptop is kind of at a distance. So if there's any comment, I can't really see at the moment, but um, yeah, let's try playing <laughs> and see how this goes. Um, it's been, I've been playing this game pretty it's Isabel. <laughs> Sorry. Hello there, everyone. Right now I'm Petra Court, 4.29 p.m. on Saturday, July 11th, 2020. The summer fishing tourney runs for not very long. So let's see how we, how well I can do. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Thanks, Isabel. Um, yeah, so I kind of, I've never done streaming before. I think I just wanted to try this out because... I didn't really want to edit any of the videos and um, yeah, I, I'm not in an editing kind of mood at the moment, but I wanted to play and kind of share my progress and everything. So um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm back to being bellless almost. Um, yeah. The turnip prices haven't been great. So let's go through my daily kind of routine and see how this goes. Bunny. My special schmoopy. My new nickname. Very weird nicknames. I've kept every note I've gotten from a friend. I totally have to rent an off-island storage unit to hold those notes, but they're from Fred, so it's worth the cost. No librarian bunny thanks bunny okay it's checking the mail and now to check the beach shores for the daily diys although recently the diys have been pretty repetitive so um i kind of want to get new villagers that are smug and snooty because i believe i don't really have that many diys from those villagers and Camafrog is ready with the fishing tourney. Let's go check on the shores. Alright, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> no. Okay, let's see if Whitney is working on something. Yeah, I used to, I think a month or two ago, I would play. No, Whitney is just reading and relaxing. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Whitney. I know. I feel bad um, kind of not talking to her and I could see the preview. Hopefully it's in real time. Anyways, okay. Let's see. Let's check the other beaches. get the daily fossils as well. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's see. If there's anything on the other. And then we'll go to the resident services and see, participate in the fishing journey. Because I haven't participated in the last one and I don't have any items 
from CJ at all. So Pico, a traditional straw coat. Oh, I don't think I've learned that. Huh. What is this? Oh, okay. Just weeds. <laughs> Let's see if Julian is working on... I imagine everyone is kind of in the middle of the fishing tourney and maybe I should participate soon because it's going to end at 6. Okay, let's just go to the residential services. And oh gosh, I need to work on my terraforming because it's not great. When I'm creating my island, I kind of want it so you can run around really easily and not get stuck too much. Any fish as I can is three minutes. Okay. Any okay. So this is similar to f uh, flick and the bug tournament. Okay. Yeah. Everyone is fishing. Oh, here. Oh my goodness. This is a bit harder. I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Any fish will do. This seems to be a bit har harder because you have to wait for them to actually bite. Although when I was doing the bug tournament, it was kind of embarrassingly bad when I wouldn't be able to catch a butterfly in one or two, like, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if there's any fish here. Oh, yes. The black base, of course. Okay. Let's see. Any fishes at all? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Hmm. I guess I'm wondering whether the, um, the items are different from the last tournament. If it's new, if it's um, different colorways, but since this is my first one, I'll, I guess I'll be new to me. But it would be nice to get the cooler and the fishing pole rack. I kind of like a lot of the items from the fishing tournament. Oh, I don't think I'll get this. Ah, oh, crike. No. Oh, four. So close. Okay. 
that's fine. Okay, let's go back to CJ. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, really? Is it one in the spring, summer, fall, and winter probably? Oh shoot. That kind of bothers me that I don't have a stamp for the first one. I didn't know. Let's see if uh, flip. No, he's not working on anything. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Uh, Poppy is one of my cuter villagers. He kind of moved in randomly. Uh, when I placed in my last plot, um, yeah, he was the last one to move in. And he was my second horse villager after coming across Julian during one of my, like, um, what is it, villager hunts, I guess? Okay. Six points. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Sell them all. Sell it all. I need all the bells I can get because... Yeah. I think my next um, goal in this game is kind of just to pay off the house. I still have the attic and the basement to upgrade to, and I just need the storage, frankly. <laughs> okay. I'm glad to see everyone participating for the most part. I think Whitney and Flip are the only ones. I don't know where Julian is at. Maybe he's fishing up at the pond on his level. It's kind of separated from everyone else. Ooh, I think that's a new fish. Oh no, a sweet fish? Huh. I don't recall getting that before. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> Excellent. All right. I have a feeling if it's like the bug tournament, I might get clothes. Although I haven't seen. Oh, that's a really big fish. I've never seen this one before. It's probably an eel of some sort. Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, rainbow eel. Ribbon eel. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't been fishing a lot. I think maybe the sea bass kind of deterred me from fishing. Um, okay, here we go. Excellent. Okay, I wonder what kind of... Oh, shoot. Should I go? How should I? Yeah, I've been trying to terraform so you can get to all the necessary places without having to use your ladder or pole. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure the la layout out. Okay. anchor statue. Oh my god. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, maybe... Okay, I guess I don't really need my pockets to do the fishing tournament because they go in the cooler. Anti-clock. I hear a balloon. <laughs> okay, that's a cute anchor statue. It's very natural looking. Okay. Ooh, it's a red balloon too. Trying rack. What colorway is this? Oh, this is very colorful. I don't have this one yet. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Let's see, what do I want to do? <laughs> okay, before I play anymore, maybe, um, maybe I'll do a quick tour update, island tour update. Um, I recently got four stars and I think that's because of all of the new flowers. I've been trying to breed the flowers just recently using the 12 by 12 grid method and um so far it's been going okay but i think that's the only thing that's stopping it from being a five stars is probably the amount of flowers but we'll see um camping cot and utility sink yeah i don't really get much from here nowadays so that was just to get the daily nook miles. But yeah, let's do a quick four star island tour update. Um, I was, yeah, like I was saying, um, I've been recently just been breeding the flowers. Um, yeah, and I think if I can grow more flowers, I'll get that five star hopefully soon or, or later. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna try to um, design the island the way I want it. So <laughs> if that means, yeah, because you'll see I have plenty of trees that I love and lots of weeds that I love, like the look of. And so I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, so here is the airport. And when you come, uh, the entrance has pretty much 
has remained unchanged since I've last done it and it's pretty um, overgrown and foresty and um, I just love it so you kind of uh, it feels like you're going into like a new kind of unknown kind of place a very fantastical place so um, yeah so this is the entrance which I really really like You'll see a lot of these iron rusted bars and I was very excited to get these um, these signs, which is very exciting. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so here's kind of the crossroads and I have um, the suitcase over here and kind of the waiting station. But this is kind of um, the entrance way here. And so I think I'm gonna actually change that bridge um, to a Zen bridge just because I feel it's too flat and yeah. And so just to create some more interest, um, I thought a Zen bridge with a nice curved looking bridge would look really nice. And yeah, so if we go up the stairs here, we'll go get to the shopping district. Oh, let's actually check Timmy and Tommy and see what is in store. Ooh, another uh, beach ball watermelon, but I've, I have all of these items except for the football. I don't think I'll get the football. Um, but yeah, let's see what the turnip prices are today. They're probably very low. <laughs> oh, 83, they're not as low as some prices I've gotten before, but okay, so we'll head out from Timmy and Tommy's place. And so, if you've watched my previous Animal Crossing New Horizons videos on my other channel from Sea to Stars, um, I've been posting a couple of videos there of my tour updates. Um, and yeah, I kind of completely abandoned my original ideas. Yeah, <laughs> after placing um, the houses and just terraforming, it just wasn't working out. And um, I decided to abandon my plan. And just for the most part, this has been kind of unplanned and kind of just terraforming in very small sections. So I finally finished my T-Rex model here. I don't know if it's gonna stay here, but um, yeah. So this is my place um, and my flower farm. So I recently did this. Let's see if there's new flowers. I've been pretty poor at watering the flowers. Ooh, another purple flower. Is that a clone? <laughs> I think that's a clone, but um, let's see, what is this? Okay, I think I'll have to, okay, there's only two new flowers, so um, I'll have to figure out if these are good or not, <laughs> or if I can just place them um, in other parts of my island, but this is kind of an unfinished area. Um, this is kind of where I've been just dumping stuff um yeah and i think this is probably going to be the last part of the island that i'll probably finesse because this is just where i live and i kind of it's like whatever so um yeah i kind of want to finish setting everything up um yeah and having everyone place i don't have all of my dream villagers um i kind of want everyone to stay but anyways uh behind nick's cranny is just kind of an eating studying area and if we go up the stairs here this is where say um the able sisters are and we have like kind of i don't know it's kind of hidden but this eating area but let's check out the able sisters and see what's new um i haven't been buying really any clothes i just kind of like trying stuff on <laughs> for the most part. Um, I think when I get all my dreamy villagers, I'm gonna have them dress up all the same or give them something. But 
Uh, the only two people or villagers I've given clothes to is Octavian, which I gave him like a very preppy shirt, which is so uncharacteristic of him. And I also gave a waitress outfit to Norma, which is also very uncharacteristic. They're just not good choices. I don't know why I gave it to them, um, but I did and it just doesn't look great. But anyways, this is really cute. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, these pants. These look really comfortable. Oh, are these? Um. Oh yeah, the outfit. That's cute. It's a long denim skirt with. I don't know, man. Oh, that's kind of cute. dress. I've been kind of liking my, um, <laughs> my animal head piece. That's too funny. Oh, steampunk glasses. I've never seen those before. And your privacy mask. Everyday socks. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, I haven't really been buying that many clothes. There's a lot of, um, I don't know. I have, I think, plenty of clothes that I really like <laughs> in my wardrobe. So I don't, it's nice just to dress up. Oh, let's say to hide a sable. Do you have your summer wardrobe all picked out and ready yet? I do. Thank you, sable. Okay, let's head out. But yeah, that's kind of my daily routine. With the Able Sisters, I kind of just <laughs> try things out for the fun of it, but I don't really buy that much because um, one, storage, and two, um, yeah, there's not a lot of things that I truly love. Okay, and so here is another work in progress area. I'm definitely gonna be moving a villager up here. I just don't know who or, and I don't know what, so. Or by what I mean, I've been using the villager homes as kind of small, using their, yeah, their homes as kind of mini stores. Um, yeah, you'll see. For Octavian, and at least, kind of has a purposeful placement of his home. But um, yeah, so that is kind of the shopping district here. And so if we go here across the bridge, which I really love, it really lags over here. But anyways, um, I love putting trees everywhere. Here is kind of a non area. I still have to finesse terraforming. Um, but if we go here, we have a view of Octavian's house up over there and also a view of kind of the eating. I don't really know what that area is. It's kind of just an eating cafe area, but um, yeah, I don't know if this is kind of finished yet. Ooh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. And so here is kind of my take on the alleyway shopping district, so um i really love this as far as like taking pictures and everything this is kind of one of my favorite areas so um and this is my opportunity to kind of place random items here as a busy alleyway kind of uh flea market area so uh, if we go up the stairs here, this is Octavian's place, and I kind of thought his exterior would make a great, like, ramen shop. Um, and so there, here's kind of the menu board. I've seen this really nice uh, stall design that would be perfect for a ramen shop, so I thought um, placing his house here would be perfect. But yeah, this is kind of just more for, I don't know, just the look of it <laughs> i really like so um yeah so this is kind of my interpretation of the flea mark uh, market and um i kind of like instead of a straight kind of alleyway it kind of slightly curves into a diagonal a little bit so 
Um, yeah, and if we go around here, it's very unfinished. I'm s this, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. I'm trying to figure out the best way for um, f for one to travel, I guess. Like, what are the most traveled areas or um, more fun areas to kind of pass through, but is kind of also convenient. So. Um, yeah, so if we go up here, I'm kind of thinking of adding another staircase down here, but um, I don't know. Anyways, um, so this area is kind of still unfinished. This is where the museum used to be. And if we go around here, I've moved the museum over here, which I believe is going to be its final resting place. But um yeah, this kind of whole second level is pretty unfinished, at least on this side. But if we go back down, this is where um, Camofrog lives. I thought his exterior was pretty modern and kind of lent to itself to a, a Starbucks, um, oh, what is it, cafe, library type of situation. So um, I kind of took inspiration from friends as well. But um, there's a lot of books, a lot of places to eat. Um, I still wanted to incorporate some trees and everything. So there's kind of trees in the middle <laughs> floor. And over here, there, here's the kitchen area. And again, more seating and dining and reading. And the grand piano was so expensive. Um, I think I'm probably going to have Norma move away at some point because... I'd like another um, villager home to kind of be similar to Camel Frog, in which it's another cafe storefront. So her store, as cute as it is, doesn't really match. But um, yeah, so that's Norma's house here. And so if we go over the bridge here, this is kind of like an awkward spot. So to get to the bridge there, this is Bunny's place. And she kind of has a little rest stop area here. So if we go to, so again, this is the entrance. And so if we go to the right here, this is where Bunny, and then over the bridge here, still need to finish up some terraforming there. But um, yeah, anyways, so the plaza, yeah. So like before, if you watch my previous uh, um, Animal Crossing videos, I made the plaza kind of the focal point of the island, but after placing and terraforming a couple times, it just wasn't working out. So I decided that the residential services was kind of like a non-focal point to me. Um, yeah, I kind of, instead of having it, yeah, like I said, ha instead of, it being the focal point, I'm just designing around it to what I want it to be. So yeah, anyways, um, so over here, like I mentioned, or like you saw earlier in the stream, I was, um, here's the beachfront and I kind of wanted to have a very like jungle vibe as well. So again, a lot of trees, this has kind of remained unchanged since last time you've probably if you watched my previous videos um, I kind of kept this to make it really jungle like so I really really like this um, yeah it's one of my favorite and this kind of lends itself to castaway with the volleyball I wish I could like um, customize this with uh, Wilson that would be really fun but um, yeah that's kind of uh, a nod to that and I just place kind of just random beach stuff here because there's not that many beach things. Uh, maybe I could put the anchor statue somewhere here. I'm trying to think where you would see this. <laughs> Aside from like at a cottage maybe. It could probably be like a decorative cottage. Um, like beach house kind of vibe I think. So yeah. Anyways. Um, so that's kind of the beach area here and it's more for, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep my beaches pretty minimal, but if we, so my plan was, I used to have 
um, a stone staircase going up here, but I think I'm going to pretty much tear this whole second level down for the most part because I need my um, inclines for other parts I feel will be more, um, it'll just be more used. So I think I'm just going to flatten this. I'm going to take all of the flowers and all of the fruit trees and just plant them somewhere else randomly, but um, yeah. Uh, Poppy lives here. Um, I really like him, but his interior is very creepy. He has, I think, the like dirge music, which is very un unsettling. It's just weird. Um, but yeah, anyways, I need to figure out kind of where his home is going to be. Um, it's kind of a certain style. But yeah, I'm still figuring out a lot of this area here. But if we go down, oh, and here is kind of a lookout here. I thought this would be a really nice lookout area, which actually right now looks pretty, looks pretty good from this angle actually. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna tear it down <laughs> because I feel like it's just easier to go through the plaza and get to the bridge another way i don't know i just want my inclines i need to save my inclines <laughs> but if you go down here i have another sign that points to where the museum is that i showed you before but i thought this was a nice like coffee lounge library area it just i it's also kind of a nod to friends with the couches here it's not exactly but um i kept friends in mind as an inspiration. I have the guitar and mic here. Um, yeah. Let's actually go to Blathers. I just want to assess the fossils and sell them. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> Sorry, I can't see um, the chat very well because um, my laptop is a distance away I kind of have to figure out um, the whole setup thing but um, thanks so much for commenting <laughs> I hope you guys are having a really good Saturday um, yeah it's very sorry <laughs> I, um, I don't know what to say <laughs> okay assess fossils um, yeah, it's been a while since I posted anything on social media or posted any videos on my um, From Sea to Stars channel. Um, I've kind of been taking it easy for the most part, um, trying to figure things out as far as kind of what I want to do, what I want to show you, like, yeah. And the whole editing videos thing, I'm kind of not in the headspace to really, I want to make videos, but editing the videos is kind of daunting to me at the moment um, because of how much of course no new <laughs> no new uh, fossils okay right yeah so I'm just I've been kind of working on things, but it's been more casual than anything and just trying to figure things out. I like experimenting. You probably know with different stuff and yeah, plesiosaur. Okay, I'll probably sell all of those. But yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, <laughs> so. Yeah, I've missed uh, posting online and just interacting with you guys um, again. I just have such a hard time with social media and just kind of navigating it still. I'm not very good at it or um, I don't participate well in it, but I always like interacting with everyone and... Um, and talking with everyone. I guess it's just, um, it gets hard when um, I'm unable to connect with everyone because I want to connect with everyone, but I know at a certain point you 
can't always do that. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And so here's Julian's place. I've yet to move his home as well because I'm trying to figure out what his home aesthetic kind of reminds me. Kind of fits in like a Grecian setting, like a restaurant maybe. Um, would be really nice, but I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. And I've like, sp I don't know, sp spent wasted bells on, um, on moving and tearing things down. And yeah, it's just pretty crazy. Anywho, um, so I think for the most part, that's kind of the more developed areas of the island. Um, as far as things I'm still working on, we have Prince who lives here. And I initially had the 12 by 12 flower garden here, but it was just such an awkward open area because um, I kind of wanted to just sprint across the garden to the beaches and it was just kind of awkward because I didn't want to trample the flowers and it just kind of got in the way. So um, I moved them to the current location where uh, they are. They're kind of out of the way and I can check them easily on the daily basis. So, but pretty much everything um, beyond kind of this point is unfinished. Um, I have Cherry, which is one of my favorite spooky villagers living here. Um, I kind of want to create like a massive cemetery. Um, I think that would be really nice. I'm kind of keeping the holidays in mind. <laughs> I kind of want to get my whole island in order before the fall just because I want to experience all four seasons in a finished island and um yeah but anywho um and here's the campground I'm probably gonna move this over to the front beach portion where is it we run 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 all the way here um this is kind of <laughs> so this is where i've dumped all of my trees um so yeah i will be yeah i'll this is probably where the campsite's gonna be and yeah so that's kind of an update on my island so far and yeah <laughs> So, so far, so good. I haven't had the urge to tear it down again. Um, I think taking it one area at a time and casually, um, you can only build so much with the items you have. And every time I get a new DIY or a new item, it kind of gives me an idea into like um, what area I can create. Um, I've been watching a lot of island tours and there's a lot of like, mini in micro environments I should say and for me I didn't want to repeat too many items or too many too many kinds of areas for me I feel like I really like big areas I guess so like this whole cafe library thing kind of spans the, like these two sections here so um, and the whole flea market thing is pretty big as well, and yeah, I kind of want to have really large but very uh, specific environments, I guess, if that makes sense. So it's pretty much just a matter of accumulate accumulating all of the items, um, and yeah. So anyways, let's talk to CJ again, and get another um get another item because it's oh gosh it's five o'clock okay so um i'm probably gonna play until um the fishing tournament is done so i'm gonna play as much or fish as much as i can before it ends in like 45 minutes or so so let's see how that goes this will be so um thrilling I'm sure for <laughs> for everyone watching okay 
Uh, and unfortunately, I didn't create areas of um, fishing that's kind of easily accessible. Really, 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 really. This is kind of like the bug tournament where I couldn't find any bugs. And if I did find bugs, it took forever for me to capture them. Look at it. Okay. <laughs> Bye -bye. Okay, let's go get another one. Oh, gosh. Let's go to the side beach. Um, I haven't had went there in a well, not in a while, but just there to fish. Ooh. Anchovy, anchovy. Tiny fishes. Oh my goodness. Oh god. <laughs> Come on. Look at it. That took. I wasn't convinced at first. Okay. I got a little anxious there. Got a little anxious there. Okay. Less than one minute. I just need one more. Okay. Ooh, balloon. Camera frog, are you fishing? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just a water bug. Why? Oh, okay. Well, at least I got three. No, okay. Yeah, I did not. Um, terraform <laughs> in the best way that's super accessible. do I have all together? I think I have eight. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, talking <laughs> takes so much time. One of the items I really want is a cooler and a fishing pole rack. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, Dory, excellent, a surgeon fish, okay. Yeah, 
And so um, I guess another thing I wanted to talk about or yeah, so this is my first live stream. I was considering doing this on Twitch just because I really didn't want to live stream on the from Sea to Stars channels just because I thought it'd be really weird. I mean, my from Sea to Stars channel wasn't always from Sea to Stars. Um, it was it was kind of just my not booktube channel i guess <laughs> so anything that wasn't booktube related i thought i could post it here it became my art channel vlog art vlog channel um and i want to con are you serious <laughs> okay um i kind of want to maintain that for the most part i thought it would be a good catch-all for everything but I think just doing live streaming on there is just maybe taking it a bit too too far in a different direction. So um, I knew I had this channel, obviously, and it's just primarily Animal Crossing content. So I thought I would um, live stream on YouTube rather than Twitch, just because I'm unfamiliar with the interface and I'm not too sure um how it not how it works but yeah I think YouTube is just easier for me to navigate and I think um I think maybe the audience is probably a specific kind of audience I don't know or maybe Twitch and YouTube has the same kind of audience I don't know but um Oh my goodness. Okay. But yeah, I think it's just, um, oh my gosh. Come, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought I got it in time. Oh, okay. Hi, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Sorry, I can't see very clearly um, the chat, um, the live chat because I haven't set up my situation very well, but um, I hope you enjoy this Let's Play. Um, yeah, I really enjoy playing. Oh, here's the balloon. I really enjoy this game so much and I was super happy. I've been waiting so long for this game. Like, <laughs> New Leaf was my first Animal Crossing game and um, yeah, I, I, I really should um, visit my old town again, Poppy Town, Tweet Cap. Sheep Hood. Oh, this is a fun fun hat <laughs> okay but um yeah anyways yes um so this is i've been waiting 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 so long and so finally um finally being able to play on this channel again is really <laughs> refreshing i don't know um Viewers, join my island. Um, I haven't had really anyone come to my island at all just because um, I think the state of it at the very beginning when I first started playing this game. Sorry, my dog has just come in the room. He's uh, been up from his nap. So hopefully he's not, won't be distracting me too much. But um, yeah, I haven't been no one has really come to my island yet um 
I think maybe because I was kind of embarrassed by the state of my island at the beginning and there wasn't really much to see or do, but um, yeah, I would love for people um, to come over, get some, I had so many DIYs, I kind of sold them all, well not all of them, but um, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I have, I have yet to decide when and the context of um, inviting people over. Yeah. But I would love to. I kind of, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, super rambly. Okay. Sell, sell, sell. It's your first Animal Crossing game. Yeah, it seems like, especially during this time, maybe a lot of people's first Animal Crossing game. I wish I, I don't know if I wish I've gotten into it sooner, but um, it would have been interesting to play the earlier versions of Animal Crossing as well and see how that was like, um, yeah. But I think um, New Leaf was a really great intro because I thought the graphics look all of the character designs and all of the villagers were just super the designs were super great I just loved it so um, okay let's see let's get another ooh, tackle bag I don't want any clothing items. I just want. <laughs> um, oh, hi, Max. If you check out my other, um, sorry, I'm gonna move my mic a little bit so my dog can kind of rest in front of me or not. He's gonna rest at a different angle. Okay. <laughs> That's cute, okay. Um, yeah, so I kind of just fell in love with um, the laid back chillness of Animal Crossing, even though it's kind of like you're doing quote unquote real world stuff. It's just, I don't know, very, just a very chill game. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I should sell my, just sell everything, sell all of the things. I only got two items so far from the fishing tournament, which is kind of sad. But they'll be the fall and the winter ones, which I'm assuming will be, I don't know. I'm assuming will be the same items, but for those who have played it before, um, you'll have to let me know if they're different or you've been getting different colorways or whatnot. I would think they would offer different prizes or different items each fishing tournament, but I guess it's for an opportunity like those like me who didn't participate in the last ones or who weren't able to collect all of the items in one tournament, I guess. Maybe, maybe that's the reason um, if the items have remained unchanged is um, to accommodate those who, yeah, just don't get everything the first tournament. So I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think I could maybe play three more times in the tournament. That's, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Oh shoot, I don't have a rod, right. Right, let's get a new fishing rod. I've also been, I don't know, at first, I've just been constructing all of my items because I th 
figured why spend the bells but then when you're DIYing items it's best to save all of the wood <laughs> you can I mean I have a lot of um, wood but oh that's so cute I haven't gotten this one before Yeah, so I'm kind of rationing out my um, my materials. I think the regular wood, not the hardwood or softwood, is very not rare. It's it's hard to come by. I definitely have more hard and the softwood materials than the regular wood, so I just kind of stopped constructing like um, basic. Um, tools if they require that. I actually haven't checked my DIY recipes to see if they use a lot of regular wood, but whatever. That is such a cute rubber duck. <laughs> I haven't gotten this rod before, so I'm very distracted. Okay, horse mackerel. Um, okay, Max is wanting attention. He's wondering why I'm holding the Joy-Con controllers and not petting him. Okay, um, let's see. As far as live streaming, I don't have a set. Ooh, <gasps> okay, this is a sucker fish. I think the sharks don't come out till after six or seven. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Max. Ooh, another balloon. Max is at um, the back door indicating he wants to be let out, but I don't think he needs to really go out just yet. Max! <laughs> Maxie, come! Yes? Why don't you sit? mix. I wish I had a webcam <laughs> to show you guys Max at least. Have a Max cam because that's definitely more um, entertaining <laughs> to watch probably in at the same time as Animal Crossing. Okay, fishing rod. Ooh. 1917. Okay. Okay, thank goodness. <sighs> Just in time. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is what I mean about, like, Ugh, I need a bridge or something. I just need to terraform so it's a bit more convenient <laughs> for me to get to residential services. Okay.
right, points. Oh, right. Okay. So I'm just gonna play again. So I'm just gonna, uh, instead of redeeming my points, I'll play for 15 minutes and see how many points I can get and then redeem all of them and then continue playing again for another 15 minutes to see what I get. Okay. I hear a balloon. <laughs> I know I shouldn't bring it. Okay. It's it's lost at all. There's so many balloons I've lost in the river. <laughs> okay. Ooh, another sucker fish. What's this? Oh, wow. A hammerhead shark. Excellent. Okay. So as far as a streaming schedule, I don't know yet. I feel Sunday is probably the most interesting because Daisy Mae's there and I could kind of go through a daily routine. I don't know, it's just so easy to stream because you just plug and go. So I guess it just depends on if I feel like sharing, <laughs> sharing what I'm doing, I guess. Ooh, another balloon. Oh cool, this is new. Man, I wish I can um, give it to Blathers, but it's not kind of recognizing it. Ah, gosh. Where is the balloon? Oh, it's gonna take forever. Okay. Um... Let's see. So yeah, have you guys been watching a lot of Animal Crossing New Horizon videos or streams? Um, I've been watching a lot of island tours, like the Five Star Island Tours, which is so <laughs> crazy. <laughs> some of them are amazing, but some of them are like, how? But um, yeah, for the most part, um, I have time traveled, but unfortunately the time traveling I did at the very beginning didn't really do much <laughs> with how my current island is now. Um, so I guess you could say this is a no time travel island, but um, I have time traveled. It kind of, um, I kind of scratched that itch for fishes. Okay. But yeah, for the most part, um, yeah, the, aside from island tours, I've been watching Ryan FT for the win, I think. And, um, I've been watching Tagback TV. He's really funny. Uh, Zach Scott Games. He's really funny too. <laughs> um, who else? Oh, I am Molly, I think. She does really cool um, design videos. I really like watching her videos too. Um, what else? Oh, I haven't done any island tours um, before, but I really would like to do island tour videos. Um, yeah. I don't know, I've just kind of been shy about asking people to go to their islands, I guess, but 
Um, if you, if you'd like me to visit your island, I guess the thing is also, um, probably the best time I would be doing island tours is on the weekends because obviously it's the weekend and probably, um, both of us are available <laughs> to do a tour. I don't know how long a tour normally goes for as far as like videos. I've watched, they range from 20 to 30 minutes, so maybe it won't take that long but um yeah so if you have a maxima well i don't know how long they take but i imagine at least 30 minutes but um that would be really cool because yeah for the most part in new leaf i've just been visiting people's islands through the dream journey the dream you guys know what I'm talking about. It's been so long. I feel so bad for not remembering it, but uh, through the dream suite, that's what it was. And yeah, so maybe I should do a call out. Just like, do you want me to visit your island? Um, yeah, because I haven't really visited anyone since. Um, there's a couple I visited, um, a couple of friends. Uh, but I haven't, but that's been like a couple months ago, so it's been a while since I've visited anyone. But um, yeah, I've been, for the most part, I guess, a little shy to ask people to visit their islands. <laughs> but um, yeah, but it's cool seeing other people and their different. What am I doing? I'm not even in a fishing tournament right now. Oh my god, okay. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me. Okay, I got distracted. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm wasting time. Let's do one more fishing tournament and then I'll redeem the points. Ooh. Studio all spotlight. I think I have that already. That's it. <laughs> it's probably mostly the hammerhead shark. Okay. Okay, that fish is not. <laughs> Bunny is in the way. Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, here's a fishy. Ooh, another puffer fish. It must be puffer fish time, maybe. Okay. Ooh, maybe another live stream topic I could talk about are like the island villagers and kind of oh my gosh <laughs> and talking about our dream villagers because I think for the most part um if I have a villager stay long enough I kind of grow to like them over time um yeah, there are some villagers. I guess let's get into it now. <laughs> I guess there's some villagers that aren't the best looking, but I don't know. Because they're programmed to be super nice and very... I don't know. I've been hearing that back in the day, animal cro the villagers used to be kind of mean. <laughs> 
or rude or I don't know, which makes sense because there's some of them that are grumpy villagers or cranky villagers, I should say, which in the dialogue is pretty funny, but I think for the most part, they kind of grow on you, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if I have, I don't think I have any quote unquote dream villagers right now. I think Julian, um, I was really excited to get Julian because he's a very, I think, popular kind of villager. Um, and he's a smug villager. I'm trying to think of a smug villager that's on my dreamy list. I think I've saved my like dream villagers in that app ACNH life um, that kind of catalogs or not catalogs but kind of um, lists all of the DIY recipes and all of the um, fossils and bugs and all of that catalog stuff um, oh gosh oh my gosh are you serious Why is there a, oh, why is there a skull there? <laughs> um, I'm thinking, I think it's just decoration. <laughs> I only have two skulls on the island and that newest one um, is one I found recently. I kind of wanted my island to have a kind of gothic, dark, Kind of aesthetic but as you can see it's <laughs> not that way yet um i think when it's closer to halloween i want to try to make it kind of creepy but i kind of want to throw in kind of creepy elements here and there um so yeah so having the skulls there is kind of fun but uh no particular dedicated story for that yet but it would be fun to kind of come up with a storyline for the island. I, I've seen um, island tours with some cool storylines and um, creators have given stories to particular villagers. I think that's really interesting and fun. So, um, but at the moment, no, no story with the skull. I thought I would just place it there for random. I thought it would be maybe, I haven't watched the movie Cast Away, but, um, it would be kind of a fun nod to, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so let's redeem what I have so far. And hopefully I get um, a couple of cool items. Oh, 20 points, so I get two things. <laughs> Not wallpaper. <laughs> Marine Baba Pool. Could I lure you into spending a few more? Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, fishing rod stand. That's one of my um, items that I wanted. Okay, cool. Oh, and I am full up. Oh, so cute. Excellent. Okay, let's put that, I think by the pier. And I'm just gonna drop off a couple of things in my home. Brace yourselves. <laughs> But, um, yeah. That's fun. Okay, that's... Okay, let's do try that again. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I don't think... Uh, I'll probably have... Um, let's see if I could get two more plays 
It'll be tough. It'll be tough. There's 10 minutes left, on my end at least, um, before six o'clock, before it ends. So if I can do two and get three, I'll get 10. And then I might get one more item. Wow, don't you guys love the interior? Isn't it so well designed? <laughs> Are you serious? That's the wallpaper? Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's place that on the wall. I like that better. Okay, what can I put? Fabric lunchbox, brick locker, who's real? Okay. Doesn't matter. What matters is getting to CJ to play 10 more and getting three fishes each. Five points around to get 10. So one more item. Hopefully it's not clothing or wallpaper or flooring. <laughs> Yes, CJ. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Three minutes. No fish. No fish. No fish. I just need three fish. <laughs> Okay. Try not to be too anxious about reeling things in because that's how you can lose fish. That's how you can lose fish. Okay. Mmm. Mackerel, keep it up. Okay. Another fish. It could be a sea bass. Is all good with me. Oh, there's another sucker fish. Probably. Come on. Excellent. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I. Ugh. Oh, this is not a sucker fish. <laughs> this is a big one. Whoa! I got a whale shark! I don't know, hopefully CJ will pay... I don't know if he pays double for it or if it's just pay double separately when you want to sell... I don't know. But um, that's nice. Ooh, another fish. Another puffer fish. Okay. Well, this is going well. Why? Nice. Yeah, I think that's all the fish. Yeah, okay. So let's redeem, or not redeem, let's uh, play one more round and that'll be that. <laughs> Have you guys been watching other um, streams today? What are your favorite 
streams that you've enjoyed watching. Um, yeah, for the most part, I kind of just watch... Yeah, Animal Crossing is just kind of my ultimate. <laughs> it combines all the things I like. Animals, cute design, um, cute character design, and it's just very relaxing kind of game. <laughs> Um, Tagback TV was playing Stardew Valley, which looks similar to Animal Crossing in which you um, gather items, I guess. It seems more complex though. Um, it seems there's like a definitive like end goal, but I don't know if it's as like you can do whatever you want. I haven't watched his streams in its entirety, but um, yeah. Excellent. Okay, one more game before it ends in five minutes. I also enjoy watching Animal Crossing streams while I'm doing other things. It's good background, background noise. <laughs> So far, I think one of my goals, at least for the end of summer with Animal Crossing, like I said earlier, is to finish the majority of my island. Because I kind of just want to experience the weather, the, um, the seasons, I should say, not the weather, <laughs> the seasons of Animal Crossing. Um, and yeah, I th I've been watching, because I've been watching different town tours and um, there's some towns that, um, have time travel to the fall or the winter. Um, I really, really can't wait, uh, for those seasons. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I think the island will look so cool during those seasons. Um, oh my gosh. And yeah. And I th know there's some creators who specifically design their island around a particular season, but I don't know. I think when the season comes, I think their island looks good in all of the seasons. I mean, if you're happy with um, the design of your island, I don't know. I think it. I think the seasons just add to the feeling of it. So I don't know. I can't wait. <laughs> Even though I'm really enjoying the summer weather right now, um, it's just, I just, yeah, I'm already looking forward to the other seasons already. This will probably be money or bells. Ooh, an unfinished puzzle. I don't think I have that yet. Excellent. Okay. Let's us 
finish the fishing tournament. Um, thank you so much guys for watching. Um, even though this is my first stream, I didn't expect anyone to really watch. Um, I think the less people who do watch, the less pressure. I don't know. I feel about streaming, I guess. Um, and I think it's easier just to talk to um, not too many people. But that's just my <laughs> my per personality, I guess. Um, okay. I don't think I've gotten at least 20 points, but that's okay. I wonder if I could do one more. I hope I can still get items <laughs> after six. Oh no, it's six o'clock already. I don't know, what does this mean? What does this mean? Well, I guess we'll see. Hopefully I could still redeem my points after the tournament's done. But if not, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. We'll just be too sad. We'll be too sad. But like I said, there's two more tournaments after this and I'm suspecting for those who don't or can't collect all the items during one tournament, um, you, you have the opportunity to get it the next two, well, in the next tournament. So that is the beauty of Animal Crossing is you can take it at your own pace and you can play it as casually or as not casually as you'd like. So yeah. I have to keep reminding myself not to like um, burn myself out playing this game. I think there was a moment where I wanted to finish my island super quickly just to get like a finished island tour video, but I don't know how people finish their islands so quickly because there is so much island to um, decorate. Although I suspect um, they do time travel, so they get, or even, what is it called, Nookazon? Um, the online market to trade or buy items, I guess. Um, but even then, again, I haven't um, tried that as well. So all of the items I've acquired for the most part have just been through everyday playing or from balloons or whatnot, so. Like I said, I'm kind of like shy <laughs> about like um, going to other people's islands, but um, I kind of think that's the point of Animal Crossing is the ability to just interact with um, those who play it. I think that's kind of the point is just to um, be able to interact with other players and be able to tr um, to trade and everything. 